Hey, I know it's 1130. I'm not at church, but listen, this is not an excuse, but it's just the truth. My child don't sleep. He don't sleep. He didn't sleep at all last night. So at nine o'clock or like 815 when my alarm started going off and then I hit the snooze till nine, he was still sleeping. I was like in finally a deep sleep because we've been up like, like at 1230, he was up two, four, six. So at night. So anyways, that's not an excuse, but it's just the truth. So please don't bash me that you're that I'm posting this video at 11:30 and I should be in church. Me and um Charles Stanley, we having some church right now. But this just happened. I wanted to share it with you because God just boomed it on my heart. Okay, look. So my son gets in this drawer all the time. Like, see it? Like. Okay. So he opens that all the time. Well, just a few minutes ago, before I put him back in bed for his nap. He slammed his fingers in it. So I was like, you know, you do that all the time. So I moved him to a, um, over, he went right back to the drawer, right back. And I'm like, you know, you just, you just got your fingers. You would think that, you know, you would learn. And God spoke to my heart and said, no, people don't learn. They keep going, they keep going back to things. And he said, the only way is to fill their mind with something else basically how we take a baby and give them a toy and we distract them and that's what he was saying to me about us that we can go around the same mountains over and over and over get hurt keep getting burned keep being around the same people getting hurt and we just keep going back but when we feel our mind when we get our attention off that when we give our mind something else to focus on like you give a baby a toy to focus on we give our mind something else to focus on then we can turn from that from that pain does that make sense? Does that make any sense? Okay, what I mean is that you keep going to that same person. You keep going around being around that same friend. You keep uh, going to that same situation to um, to do wrong, what you're trying to get away from. Okay, well, if you keep staying around that, like if I put my son right here in front of this drawer, he's going to keep going back to it. I mean, I'm, I'm putting him right in front of it. So we got to we got to give him another toy. We got to fill our mind with something else. The Bible, the Word, um, new TV shows, uh, new people. Okay, hello. Is he talking to us? Okay. Um, does that make any sense at all? I just felt like that was such a like a a relevant word right now that somebody needed to hear. Right now, with my no makeup face. <laughs> Y'all can say what y'all want to. I mean, this is just, we need some filtering. I mean, I ain't too proud to, sh to talk about filtering. Like, I, I was just, I ain't too proud to beg. Ain't that a TLC song or something? I ain't begging for nothing. I, I just need some filtering. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Renew your mind. Put it on something else. Get away from that situation.